Hi there. There's pigs. Hi there, I'm Bob. And this is Let's Get Re Actually, no, it's not Let's Get Retro. It's like Let's Get Crafty. Um, basically, if you've ever seen my videos, I generally look at kind of old retro gaming stuff. So, uh, for a change, I thought I'd do a bit of Minecraft. Um, because it's my go-to game. Um, now, the only problem being... Well, whereas other people do all this crazy stuff with it and there's all the PvP servers and uh, whenever I play I end up doing it on easy just to chill out and it ends up being like agrarian lifestyle simulator it's basically the good life I just literally end up building a farm and some animals and not doing very much else alright come here little piggy There you go. Sorry, the reason for that brutality is I'm going to be needing food in a minute. So this is um, just a random seed. It's on hardcore, uh, because I figured, you know, uh, that's what the kids be into these days. So, if you're looking for, like, the kind of videos where... Uh, people are just doing awesome gameplays and things. This is not it. Okay, the odds are I will probably die horribly. Um, see, I'm already throwing my wood away. Um, well, that island looks nice and safe. I may be resorting to living there soon. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Um, I need some sticks. And... Wooden sword, not much use, really, unless the old monsters get stabbed in the eye with it. Yeah, basically, um, if you've been living under a rock for like the past couple of years, um, Minecraft is a... Uh, it's a lot of things. It's basically, a you can play it as a construction game. Uh, with unlimited resources, and you can fly, and you can basically build like anything. People have built like cities. People have recreated, like, you know, um, Columbia from... By, uh, from Bioshock Infinite. People have recreated anything you can even think of. Um, let's use this sword in a tree just for a laugh. Which is a really bad idea. Um, it's also, it, I, I tend to basically play it single player, but it's multiplayer as well. So it's it almost ends up being a bit like an MMO in one sense, because uh, you got people running their own servers and you connect to them, you play with other people, you can, there's some, there's all sorts of mods, it's like, a sort of Hunger Games thing where you basically, you know, uh, it's like a survival of the fittest, a lot of you are dumped out in the middle of nowhere and basically have to survive, um, it's like, like some multiplayer version of what I'm doing. The gist of the game is, you, uh, you land in a random world, and, uh, you have no resources, and initially you basically are, you know, scrabbling together things out of wood, um, you're going completely blind, by the way, because you don't know, uh, like, you know, how to... I don't think it really tells you, um... I've never RTFM'd, but I don't think it really tells you how to, uh... You know, how to actually make things. You just have to guess. Um, there may be a... Uh, having said all that, there may actually be a, a manual somewhere. Um, okay. Folks, I may be digging my grave here. So during the day, by and large, for the most part, there's very few beasties around. At night time, however, uh, that changes drastically and all sorts of nasty monsters come out. Um, some better tools straight away so the first thing I've really got to do is find a way of defending myself um, and then build some sort of shelter so Sandstone, I don't want that. 
Now, Hardcore, which is the mode I'm playing on, is basically the hardest level. So all the bad guys take loads of hits to get, and they're horrible, and there are lots of them. And they will hunt you down like a dog. Um, and also... Let's just get that there. We should use the axe for that. Uh, see, again, this is what I'm saying. It's not going to be some sort of masterly skillful playthrough. Uh... Yeah, basically, at night, monsters come out. Horrible monsters, zombies and skeletons and all sorts of nasty nastiness. Um, let's build ourselves a furnace. So, ideally, you want to be tucked up in your bed uh, when the monsters come out. Um, let's use a bit of, bit of wood. And there's some pork chops to keep you going. Now, um... It's got some odd rules. Basically, for a start, if you were um, if you were in bed and fall asleep, uh, the monsters don't come out. That's probably it. Like it's got its own weird logic to it. So the idea is you want to get yourself a bed made as soon as possible, uh, and for that you need sheep, um, because you need wool. You need wool, and you need uh, wood, just like a real bed isn't. Oh, come here, sheepy, sheepy. Without a bed, uh, the night is long. And you really need to either be armed to the teeth, especially in this mode, uh, or else you need to... Uh, let's go. And get some rashers. Now, for those of you that don't enjoy the insane violence I'm just perpetrating here, ah, oh, excellent, sheep for the bed. You can breed sheep and goats... Or, not goats... You can breed sheep. Ah, oh, there's part three of my bed. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Have I made an axe yet? No. All right, let's just waste this shovel on it. Um, yeah, basically, you you make a bed. Uh, you make a little house, you make your little fortification against the world. Um, oh, that's interesting. And then you start mining. Now, as I said earlier on, there's loads of different ways of playing this game. Including the way I'm doing it right now, which is badly. One of the crazy things when you take the tree down, the leaves still stay up there. Physics is something that doesn't really happen much in this game. Now, I have to find my hidey hole. Oh, sure. yeah, I definitely don't want to meet him now. Uh, that's a skeleton. Basically, uh, anywhere dark like that, you'll find lots of bad guys. Somewhere on the coast. I might have to give up in a minute and just. Uh... Did I get that? Bit of bacon? Okay, I always like picking up trees because I, I tend to chop down so much. I always feel like I gotta give something back. And like I said, when I play this, it usually ends up being farming crazy farming game um, I remember seeing the island out there so it's a bit of a glitch 
There we go. So get ourselves some wood and somewhere to put things in. And what did I want to do? Uh, oh yeah, door. Lovely pork chops. Now quick, let's make a bed. Basically, on a normal game, it's bad enough going out at night. Uh, let's use this a bit. But going out during a night, especially at the start of a game on hardcore mode, is crazy dangerous. I'm led to believe. So basically, the way the game works, if I can sum it up pretty quickly, uh, you mine, you get resources, you build things. Um, you try not to die horribly. One of the things you get a lot of, if you can, is coal. Oh, hang on. I need to eat something. Or a waste of time. Ooh, very nice. Okay, first of all, before we go any further. Scary noise is scary. Let there be light. Damn, I thought I saw some uh, some iron, which would be useful for making better tools and things to equip myself. So, I mean, yeah, you basically get better resources, uh, you build things, and then with enough, when you build up enough things, you can build a sort of teleporter that takes you to a different realm, and you go through there, and it's the same, only much harder, uh, and then you do that a third time, and, well, you do it, basically, there's a couple of different areas in the game, and you make it all the way through them, and you win at Minecraft, and then you go back and do it again. Start. Is there anything out? Okay, I don't want to. Sorry, I want to make sure I can actually see this place again. So. Just a rudimentary shelter for now until I can get set up. Where's the door gone? Oh, well, there it is. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's just put a ceiling in. Hang on, let's be a bit smart about this. Banging my head off the top of it. That's not going to work, is it? Dum -de -dum. This is only my temporary shack. Can I get 
back out. No. All right, let's uh, worry about that later on. a new door. Okay, I just fast forward to the next bit here for you because it's uh, a bit boring watching me basically rebuild the roof for no apparent reason. Like I said, this is a temporary little... <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to all this trouble. Like, I'm going to you know, get enough wood to build a nice, a nice better Unabomber style shack further down. a bit of room. There is a dude, by the way, uh, called Talon. I'll put his link. Uh, he's an Irish guy like me, and he does uh, some really good videos. So actually, you know, part of the reason I ended up playing the bloody game was I was looking at his... He has a server, uh, and I was looking at some of his videos about what he was doing with his mates on it, and uh, it looked that good, and I said, right, I must have picked it up at some point, so a few months later, I was messing around. I wanted to do a messing around with some yeah, it doesn't really matter. I was doing a mess around with some programming stuff and I wanted to have a look at what you could do with Java. So, uh, he's as an excuse to pick this up and it was totally worth it. Okay, uh, alright, we can't have them just sitting there. Alright, for a start, let's. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> nearly out of. Nearly out of wood. Okay. Uh, So one of the creatures that if you play this game you'll end up learn, learning to hate are things called creepers and they're basically like walking cactuses and they're maybe a lot of the, the kind of cactus bad guys that I can't remember the name of out of uh, Final Fantasy and uh, let's move that to my new bed quarters. Um, And they do a horrible thing that they basically uh, come up to you and as soon as you threaten them, they'll try and attack you and as soon as you threaten them, they basically sit there and go Tss, and then they explode. And when they do, they'll take out all the lovely things you've made. Okay, you can only sleep at night. Now, the reason I'm putting down lots of these is uh, monsters tend to spawn in dark areas, so it doesn't really help if you have uh, uh, let's this one up. yeah having lots of dark areas is a can be bad sand it's dirt <coughs> oh 
I'll come back cold, I need you. Okay. I do get a bit, a bit of ground here, so uh, I'm just going to fast forward this. everything with them, including your lovely house that you've just built. Let's go chop down some trees. I might do a bit of editing folks, so uh, jump cut to me having cut down lots of trees. Well, I've done more damage to the forest here than Dutch Elm disease. Um, Actually, no, better still. I'm going to uh, make myself a little boat. That's a good place to build a little dock to aim for. And do 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 do. Many planks. I could have saved the trees by, you know, uh, bringing the crafting table from my little house there, but uh, then I remember it's only a game. I don't need to conserve the pretend trees. Right, there's my little boat. I christen you the rub dub Need a bottle of champagne to... Oh yeah, here, in case you're wondering. This is the uh, lovely blocky view. This is me wearing a lovely red lantern t-shirt. It's very lifelike, as you can see. Uh, now I need to be careful getting out of this boat, otherwise I'll get wet. Um, I think I will build here. Except I've left all... Oh, there it is. There's it. Okay, we're getting close to the 25 minute mark, I'd say. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll be back with more of these videos, and if you're interested, let me know. Um, like I said, uh, I normally do retro gaming videos, um, but like I play the game, so I figure out why don't you why don't you enjoy watching a grown man pretend to have a farm? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys and girls, and I shall see you next time. Hopefully, a creeper doesn't blow me up first.